Hi everyone, so today I'm back with another video. It's going to be a get ready video and let's go ahead and get started. Also guys, don't forget I still have my giveaway going on. I will have all of the information linked down below, all the rules and so forth you need to follow in order to enter that giveaway and I will also have a have some pictures of the giveaway on Instagram and Twitter so you guys can actually see um, the items that I'm giving away anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started right here I'm just moisturizing my face I'm using the clean and clear dual action moisturizer and I really like this one it's a salicylic acid acne medication as well so I really like that it helps my skin out with acne. Next, I'm using my Nivea A Kiss A Smoothness Lip Hydrate and Care. And this has SPF of 15. Next, I'm actually doing my brows. I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Dark Brown. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take a spoolie and I'm going to blend my brows out so they look nice and natural. Next, I'm going to be taking my MAC palette. This is in the shade, I believe it's medium deep. And it has NC40, NC40W, and NC42 and some other shades in there. I happen to use the NC40 just for sculpting out my brows. And I'm also going to go ahead and sculpt above the brows today as well because I want them to look really defined. Next, I'm taking my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and NC42. And I'm actually going to be using this as my eyeshadow base for today. I love using this for eyeshadow base just basically all around, but it has become vastly my favorite. Next, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild palette, and this is the I Heart Matte. I think a while back it was drinking a glass of shine or something like that. But I'm going to be taking this palette and I'm using that peachy color in it. And I'm going to be using my Sigma F40 to blend that in. Next, I'm going to be taking the palette Sparkle Till Morning. And I'm going to be using that almost like a reddish orange color. And I'm patting that color all over my lids. Next, I'm going back in with the I Heart Matte Palette, and I'm actually going into that orangey color and that crease color. It actually says lid and crease. It's like that, um, almost like a brick color, but I'm going in that to just really define the crease just a little bit more. Next, I'm going to that Sparkle to Morning palette, and I'm actually going to be taking that definer shade that's in there, which is that dark sparkly shade. And I'm also going to the I Heart Matte palette as well, and I'm going to be taking the black, and I'm going to be putting that in the outer V to make this look a little more dramatic. And of course, I'm doing the same with the other side. Now I'm going back in with my Sigma E40 brush and I'm actually going to blend those colors out just a little bit. When in doubt, blend it out. And I was in doubt with this look, but it actually came out looking pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm going to lay off the eyes for a little bit using my Revlon Nearly Naked in the color 240. And I'm going to be applying that with a flat top brush. This one is actually by Sedona Lace, so I do use many brushes. If you guys ever want a review on some brushes, please let me know in the comment section down below. So I decided to go back to the eyes, and this time I'm going to be using my Mali. This is the Evercolor Ultimate Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is Go On The Jet Black. And I'm just going to be using that to line the inner rims of my eyes. Next, I'm applying my favorite mascara. This is the Telescopic and Carbon Black by L'Oreal Paris. And I'm also going to be applying some to the lower lashes as well. And 
and I'm going to go back with the Maui eyeliner and I'm going to line the top of my eyelid as well. And doing just a little slight wing. Now I'm going back in with the I Heart Matte Palette and I'm going to be using that more of like a flesh tone color and I'm going to be using that as my brow bone highlight. And I'm applying that with just a regular Sigma's shader brush. Now I'm taking my MAC NC42 concealer and I'm going to place that underneath my eyes. I'm also going to be using my Real Technique setting brush for this. Um, I'm just going to use that to help blend it out. And I'm also going to use my Beauty Blender to just really take away any of the extra concealer that I might have placed underneath the eye and it just gives an overall nice look. Next, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Powder using another Real Technique setting brush. And I'm going to be using that powder to set underneath my eyes. If you guys know of a good drugstore um, setting powder, please let me know. I use this one because it's just one that I love. It's tried and true for me, so I was just in the habit of using it. Now I'm going to be taking my Sonia Kushik. This is a cream bronzer and this is in the shade Rich Bronze, number 42. And I'm going to be using that to define my cheeks and my forehead and the bridge of my nose. What's left on that brush I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it down to the bridge of the nose this way it's not too much and it's not too little it's just the right touch next I'm gonna be applying um, some blush I'm gonna be using the Bellissimo bronze and I'm actually gonna be using this with the real techniques it's more of a stippling brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and stipple that right onto the apples of my cheek going back to my ears Now I'm using my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going ahead and spraying that and setting my face. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick. This one is from the Maybelline. I want to say it's the Nude Collection. This is in 930 Truffle Tees. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm also going to be using the NYX. This is a Butter Gloss and this is in the color Madeline. So while I was doing this, I decided that I just looked a little too washed out for new lip with this kind of neutral look. So I actually decided to go with a Revlon favorite, which is Berry Halt in the color 660, which happens to be one of my favorites of all time. And there you guys have it, the completed look. Oh, oh, oh.